Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number four of the Coventry Crusade. Since the last episode where we played, who was it, Leicester, we have played quite a few games. We started off with a 1-1 draw against Gillingham. Um, we took the lead and they came back late on in the game to clinch a point. Here's our best player. <laughs> and fair play to him, he had an outstanding game. We got the 1-0 lead but couldn't capitalise any more on that. A little bit disappointing there. We then lost 1-0 to Wimbledon, which really left me annoyed. And saying we dominated there and they had three shots on target and one of them went in. Their keeper had a storming game and we just could not break him down. And fair play to him, just could not get going in that one. But we came back, beat Port Vale 3-2. It took to took Tudguy to the 90th minute to get us a win because they came back on the 84th to draw it up at 2-2. And... Thank God Tugai came in and got the goal because he came on in the 55th minute and he nicked the goal right at the end. Very happy to claim the victory there. After we played, then we beat Portsmouth 2 on the Checker Trade trophy. All I've got going through my head is the CheckerTrade.com theme song at the minute. <laughs> but I'm not in any way affiliated with them and I'm just saying it there. <laughs> but we beat them. 2-0, very happy with that. Took on the 91st minute again, getting the goal. Um, I uh, Daniel getting the goal in that one as well. After that, we played Chesterfield, drawing 2-2. Very disappointing. They said they had a man sent off in the 14th minute. We they went 1-0 um, up. We came back, took it to 2-1, expecting to run out of victors there. But Sanchez, what had other ideas and pulled it back on the last minute. Sending they even down to 10 men, we really should have. Um, got more goals than that. After that, we drew. Oh, no, we lost 1 0 to Charlton. Um, Ayala picking up. Not Ayala. Um, Daniel picking up an injury. Uh, uh, Jose? Uh, Nicky <laughs> scoring for them. Just He had a good game. We just couldn't score. Very even game. Can't really complain about that one. Unfortunately, us, us for lose. We then had a draw against Oxford. It took, we went 1-0 up and then came back later on. And again, they had a good defense. We had a good defensive display. Just we won lots of concentration and we conceded the goal. Again, they played quite well. We couldn't get any more than that. We dominated the game and we should have had about five in that one. But then played Rochdale, drawing 2-2 with them. Again, we played well to start with. They pulled it back to 2-1 to them. And then it took Vladimir to get the late goal for us to get back into it. So again, very even game and probably a deserved draw. Their goalkeeper was the man of the match in theory. I think it was one of them men who came on. But I'll class it as their goalkeeper because he kept the minute. And where we come into this today, we're going to be playing Watford in the English Football League Cup fourth round. So hopefully we can see how we do in this one, guys. So they're another Premiership team who are... Okay, they're 15th, but they're still Premiership team. They've got quality players. And it's going to be an interesting game. And hopefully if we can perform anywhere near as well as we did against Leicester, against them, I will be extremely proud of the lads. We're going to be going with this. Ricketts note is not playing there. He... Sterry goes on, who uh, Turnbull can come off, he didn't play very well in the last couple of games. Haynes is staying there, Sheaf, Jones, yep, yep. So Dell, injury wise, the only one we've got at the minute is Daniel, he's out for two months, which means his loan contract actually expires by the time he comes back. So he probably won't be playing for us again unless I try to extend it. And see what we can do. We'll, if we can get another 700 quid off the wages, even better. If he doesn't go, we'll bring Gosh in for Sheep. He's not got that much of fitness at the minute. Switch them to a round. And yeah, effectively, that's going to be the team we go with. So let's get into this and really try and just prove how good we are at times. And make a difference and. Faith and that didn't go quite to what I expected, but it will do. 
if we can have anywhere near the half of the performance we did against Leicester, I'll be happy. But I'm not expecting to go through this round into the next one, so I'll be surprised if that happens. But I'm not holding my breath. I'm sorry for the blow. <laughs> As I say that, he goes and scores, so yeah. I'm not expecting much from this. And he scored on his debut for Watford. <laughs> okay. They had a very good ball forward there. We just couldn't cope with it. And they run away with it. This side, I think, takes it over. Loading up over the top. Success nods it on. Takes it down on his knee. Knocks it through the gap. And just puts it into the other side of the goal. Fair play to him. Good finish. Well taken goal. Can we at least make a good showing and not get absolutely battered? I'll take a 1-0 loss. I don't really want to lose like 4, 5, 6 nil. Right, gone into half time at 1 0. Tell them we're disappointed. See if we can get anything from this. Same we're at home, but I'm not expecting much. If we can at least test their goalkeeper a couple of times, I'll be pleased. I'm saying we're two divisions lower than what they are. It's, it's always going to be a hard fought battle. We have to make some subs in a minute because none of our players are really playing exceptionally well. Pantilamon clears the ball forward. Success nods it down to. I'm not going to try and pronounce that because that's just letters to me. Gosh into Hesketh. Back to. What's his name? Haynes. Hesketh. Lad. Haynes. We're playing lovely triangle football here, but we're not making any headway. Hesketh's got a bit of space into Tug Guy. Holds off his man. Turns his man into Jones. He's got no one really to pass to. But Sterry going to play back into Hesketh. A very bad pass to Tug Guy. For some reason, he kept running forward and didn't do a lot. It's over the head of Willis. I don't know what our goalkeeper's doing. But they could have made that two there. Let's make some subs because nothing's really going forward. Jones is coming off for Lameros. No. We're going to push Vlad up top. There. Take Jones off for Sheaf. And we'll take Ricketts off for Turnbull. And just see if we can get anything else going. And no, no highlights whatsoever in the second half. And that's really disappointing. As I say, we got one last corner. Turnbull nods it. Willis. In the Hesketh shoot. And we score. We do score. That was unexpected. <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> wow, okay. We take the corner and gosh. Heads it. Plays it in. It stopped the Hesketh. I thought it was taking so long to shoot. It wasn't going to come to anything. I've just kicked my Xbox on. Which was by accident. Didn't mean to do that. And it's going to extra time because of a very late goal. Not what I expected there. But can we pull a miracle out of the bag? Hesketh up to Sordell. Out to Haynes in tons of space. Whips the ball in. And Cathcart knocks it, nods it behind. Let's see what's going on with the Xbox. Turn it off. Sorry, camera. We got another corner. Gosh puts it in. Turnbull nods it. Willis is chasing. But it's fouled by Prades. Prades? Prades? Don't know. But gosh, he's going to whip it in. Cabasale heads it clear into Proddle. Hesketh claims it again into Haynes. Where's he going? Can he roll the man? No, he gets tackled by Proddle. That's probably not how you pronounce it. But I'm going with it. Glad puts it into the box. It's. Dropped the gale from their head of back out to Sterry over the top, but it doesn't come to anything. This point that we're on the ascendancy here. She loses it, drop the Heskiff gale into Vlad. He shoots, he scores. Can we do another victory here against another Premiership team? Right, we're coming off attacking and back to standard. Because they've pushed men forward. Oh, I don't really want to overcommit now. Gale into Vlad. Shoots first time left foot into the top corner. Pantinamar couldn't get anywhere near it. 
Wow, okay. Right, can we hold on for the next 20 minutes? We've got a free kick again. Gale whips it up. Heskiff takes it down, but doesn't do much with it. It's dropped to Amrat. Amrat, back. I know I'll pronounce it, I just can't. <laughs> I'm giving up now. Haynes with a good tackle. Gale into Heskiff. They're going to be throwing men forward like mad now. Sordell has Vlad ahead of us. He goes forward, shoots again. Easy save by Pantelimor this time. Pantelimor, where is he going? No, Aaron's highlight. Like, are we going to get to extra half time of extra time? Kufo plays it down the line. Kabasele has it on the right, whips it in. Can we clear it? Header by Will is clear. Into Decore, into Cabasele. I think I've pronounced that three different ways in the last two minutes. Capoue puts over the top. Turnbull heads it down. Decore, Padres, Padres plays it in. Willis clears it this time. Over the top for Padres again. It's dropped to Sheaf. Hesketh, play it forward. Over the top. Sordell doesn't get there, but it's dropped back to Sheaf. Plays it through the gap for Hesketh, who's got a bit of space. Through the gap for Sordell. Is he onside? Is he onside? He is onside. And that's his second goal for the club. And wow. Not what I expected from this at all. I really have no idea what's going on. We apparently turn up against the bigger teams. And the teams in our division. We, we struggle against. Sordell. A lovely finish there from the lad. And it's going to be going to the second part of extra time in just a minute. Can we hold on now? Haynes into Gross. Over the top for looking for Sordell, but it's almost dropped back to Heskiff. It's gone in the middle for Gosh, who does well to pass it to Vlad. Into Heskiff again. Loses it to Decora. Pantillamore clears it. Where's he going? Over the, try and get that. Turnbull intercepts that well. Don't run too far forward. Pass it. Good. Whip it in, Haynes. Or into the Hesk if that's fine. Out the Vlad. Into Sordell shoots. Oh, that was another chance. And wow. I'm expecting the whistle to go for the end of the first half of extra time, which it just has. Let's get going for the second half of extra time. Decore. I want to say, um, like area but it's not there's extra letters in it let's drop the Heskiff who has men on his right to go into Sordell oh he dropped us off he should have played it the Vlad rather than Sordell there a little bit disappointed with the move there but it shows we can go forward Heskiff won it back we've got men flooding forward Sordell over the top Vlad's clear it's a good save by Pantinamol and they clear it out again. Well, not what I expect when I turn this on to play. Capasaley at the Pardes. She makes a good interception there. Where's he going? Back into Turnbull. Into Haynes. Nothing stupid. Gosh, this time. Plays it forward to Haynes, keeping it well. Turnbull, Sheaf, out to Vlad. Got men ahead of him, into Sordell. He got no one really there. Amrat at the Pardes, he's coming forward. And the Cabasele into Amrat. Can he score? He does. I'd be disappointed if we lose this now, saying we've had pretty much the best chances. And... Fair play, they're coming, still going for it. Cabo said they put it through the gap for Amrat. Or oh, Amrabat. Right foot shot into the bottom corner. Clinical finish. But I've no idea what's going to happen in the last four minutes. Gosh has it. Into Turnbull. Vlad. Gosh. Back to Vlad. Gale yeah, around the corner for Sordell. Shoots, he scored, that should be it. That should be it. And that is completely magical. Not what I expected from our lads today.
I was expecting Watford, saying they are 15th in the Premiership, to at least um, dominate the game and put a few past us. But, wow, okay. We got another corner. And okay, we give away a free kick, that's fine. But that should be about it. And there goes the final whistle, we beat in Watford. Not what I was expecting. Wow, okay. Extremely delighted, yes. Well, wow, okay. And saying teams that are still in it, West Brom, United, City, Arsenal, us somehow, Tottenham. I think Chelsea won earlier. Chelsea, Sunderland. Right. Not what I was expecting that. I'm pretty sure. Um, what do they want? Reach the second round. We're into the fifth. Nowhere near where I was expecting to be. As you can tell from the check and trade trophy, we are currently six points out of six. And we're quite a bit further ahead than Reading, Portsmouth, and Northampton. In the league, we are sitting in sixth at the minute. They want top half, which we're doing quite well at the minute. Only four points from that 12, so anything still change here. But it's more where I was expecting us to be from the start of the season, so I'm very happy with where we are. A little bit disappointed to have some of the results drop off a bit. So when's the draw? We'll go to the draw against... Go to the draw against that makes no sense we'll go to the draw and see who we get in the next round because no one there was expecting not foster father house and look at those after draw all right view draw who do we want we either want sunland or west brom it's probably where we want to go or an away fixture, maybe, will be a good day. Away fixture at Man City, very happy with that. That's going to be a good day out for the, for the fans. And Arsenal, Tottenham, another big team going out. Sunderland, Chelsea. You can sort of predict who's going through, like Man United, Chelsea, City too. <laughs> you can more or less guess it's going through, but the way we're going, I'm not going to put anything past us now. Tottenham and Arsenal is a very tough one to decide, but... Very happy with that. And um, what are we playing, Warsaw? Oh, that's our next game. Right, okay, so when's that game come in? FA Cup first round. Quarter final against Man City. That's what? Two. Seven, eight games away? Yeah, we're coming back for the Man City game because it's not what I was expecting to be doing and one we're going to be really up for. So. If you guys have enjoyed, smash that like button, hit the subscribe subscribe button i'll see you next episode for when we take on manchester city in the english football league quarter final not what i was expecting so i'll see you then guys